one. Hey you guys, Dustin from Gun Gear Nation here. Just want to go ahead and drop a video. I know you guys seen the title, which is Amway Worldwide Dream Builders uh, exposed uh, certain cult practices. And so maybe you're going through a process or your current IBO. My goal here is to best support you and speak as much truth as possible and kind of expose the, the stuff that's actually going on. Um, the first thing I want to start off with is the biggest topic of all time is brainwashing. And so we can't have any brainwashing out here. That, that's a big no-no. So I want to kind of go over to you and just show you guys some books that these dream builders use to brainwash you. The first book that I want to show you guys is going to be Start With Why by Simon Sinek. This guy is the biggest cult. I think he had a, a cult where he killed millions of people. We have the Compound, uh, compound Effect by Darren Hardy, Hardy, which teaches you uh, bad habits and how they compound over time into worse and how you can create good habits and how that can compound over time into better. We have The Gifts of Imperfection by Brené Brown. I know you guys probably see the Netflix special that she has, uh, which this book kind of teaches you how to be comfortable in your own skin, which is who does that these days. We have The One Thing by Gary Keller, which is a necessity for any entrepreneur. And then we have the biggest, I think this is the biggest initiation of all time. I think that before people read this book, they actually have to uh, drink a juice and they gather around and like, they gather around butt naked and they drink this juice and they die and they believe that they're gonna resurrect and read this book, uh, Jock the Willing, Extreme Ownership. So I don't know if you guys get it by now, but I'm kind of fucking around. At the end of the day, what you guys are earning from the person sitting across the table from you, or maybe if you're already in worldwide, it's a personal development program. Realize that most people in your life are comfortable. Most people are stagnant. And most people don't want to take fucking ownership over what they do in life. It's always a victim mentality. It's always someone did something to me. In any business endeavor that you guys start, if you fail, it's your fault. Period. I don't care if you try to get into Bitcoin. I don't care if you try getting into shop, starting a Shopify drop shipping store. I don't care if you get in real estate. Realize that any multi level marketing is a, 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 a in, uh, income source that can create passive income. But no matter what you start, if you fail, take ownership over it and learn from it and use that to get better. Whether you stop doing that certain business and you take those that skill set to somewhere else, but it's never going to be anyone's fault. As you can see here, these are books that, 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 are, that are necessary for you to become a, success, a successful entrepreneur. And the fact that what well, Worldwide Dream Builders really is, is really just a personal development program meant to support you in building your business. My wife and I have taken these skills and we've created six figures outside of, outside of our Amway business. And um, it's helped us just, just have peace. And these are and just from the skill sets alone that we've taken from books, audios and our mentors so realize guys that's what you're earning you're not it's not some crazy cult no one's trying to suck money out of you it's just someone investing their time into you to help you become better that's how it works and realize like i said most people in life just want to be stagnant most people are totally fine scrolling on tinder hooking up with some random fucktar that they just met going home drinking themselves to death waking up going to work and fucking going home and playing video games. If that's you, and you don't want anything more out of that, cool. But I think that there's more to life than that, personally. And if you work a nine to five and you're just trying to get by, you're not trying to insult anyone, but that's what most people are fucking doing. And people are, they, they, they're anti-investing into yourself. Everyone's out buying McDonald's. No, there's no exposed videos on that. There's no one, you know, hollering about Taco Bell for breakfast. No one's talking about these things, but they want to attack people that are trying to create something for themselves. People that just want more in life. It's a crazy culture that we live in. But also understand that you have the power in your life to create anything that you want and become whoever you want to be. So if you guys are trying to explore a business endeavor and people are trying to laugh at you and say, oh, are you reading a book or are you trying to build your business? I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're selling freaking hot dogs 
it, dude, those guys at Santa Monica Pier that sell hot dogs, those guys make bank, by the way. But uh, if you're, I don't care what your business is, if anyone's trying to insult you for building your business, that's their fucking problem and they're probably toxic. People that are complaining and saying that it's everyone else's fault as to why their business didn't take off the way they want to, they're probably, they're, they're most likely just, they're just toxic people. Anyone that laughs at you, just tell them to go suck your dick. Go build your business. Go build, be whoever you want to be. And realize, like I said, what you're in from worldwide. It's just someone that's created success sitting down with you and sewing into you to instill habits and a mindset to take you to the next level. No one, it's, there's no one that's in a cold that's telling you that you can't do this, you can't do that. It's up to you to gain that perspective and do what you want with that perspective. My mentors have given me a perspective that I have not taken and a lot of things they have given me that, that I have taken that has saved my ass. So realize for what it is, you're always gonna know what's best for you, but don't just ever turn around and insult someone for just trying to become better in life. I'm out of here.